Family and friends of Sarm Heslop, the woman who disappeared 18 months ago after a night out on St. John with boyfriend Ryan Bain, are anxiously awaiting a response from the Virgin Islands Police Department to their demand that the VIPD release surveillance footage that Heslop's loved ones only learned about recently. Heslop's parents visited the territory in March of this year around the anniversary of their daughter's disappearance and were shown video of Heslop and, ba and Bain that had been taken after the couple left 420 to center the bar they'd patronized that evening. Brenda Street, Heslop's mother, said that during the viewing, police stopped the video before the end of the recording. A request for a copy of the footage to be released to the media was denied by the VIPD, according to a statement issued by the family, because authorities believe that could have compromised the investigation into Heslop's disappearance. The family says that details in the footage contradict parts of Bain's story. Bain, who first reported Heslop missing around 2.30 a.m. on the morning of March 8, 2021, before waiting until 11.45 a.m. to contact the Coast Guard as he'd been instructed to do, reportedly said that his girlfriend had been wearing a dress on the night she disappeared. But the CCTV footage reportedly captured her wearing a top and either a skirt or shorts. Additionally, those behind the findsarm.com website, where the latest update was posted, say that since March, the VIPD has not been communicative with Heslop's family, a complaint that has been articulated since the beginning of the investigation into the missing woman's disappearance. In March of last year, we reported that then-VIPD spokesperson Toby DeRima as saying that the VIPD was working with federal partners, including the FBI. However, in the latest statement from Heslop's family and friends, they accuse local police of declining offers of assistance from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The issue of the surveillance footage is also one of contention, as the family alleges they were initially told by police that CCTV cameras in the area were non-functional. Since Heslop's disappearance, the VIPD says it has tried and failed on more than one occasion to get the court to approve a search warrant for the siren song, the catamaran on which Heslop and Bain were living, and from which Bain said she disappeared. That catamaran has since sailed out of U.S. waters. Bain and the catamaran were spotted in Grenada at the beginning of November 2021. The vessel's name had been removed from the side on which it had been painted, and it was subsequently listed for sale. The consortium's efforts to keep up with the catamaran's whereabouts have not yielded fruit since it moved from its berth in a secluded Grenadian marina in mid-November last year. Last week, VIPD Communications Director Glenn Dratt promised an official response to the family request was forthcoming after consultations with the Attorney General. That response is still outstanding.